We're at Pouts Point, super low tide. We're gonna try to get some seascapes. Let's check it out. Pots Point. Uh, it's been raining all day. Weather said clouds were supposed to clear a little bit. They're not. <laughs> uh, but we're going to try to find a photo anyway. So, see what we can find. One thing I really like about Potts Point is all the lines in the rocks, like sort of the grain of the rocks runs, you know, the, uh, parallel with the peninsula here. But it's also sort of the downfall of this evening because all the light is off to the west and all these rocks run nor pretty much north and south. And, uh, and that's sort of, sort of where the, the composition leads you, you know, like shooting horizontally against these rocks uh, would, uh, sort of give you a hard line across the bottom of your frame and then there's, you know, a, sort of a big beautiful sky. Uh, and that sort of, you know, perpendicular doesn't really work for composition well. Uh, I really want these rocks to sort of like lead you up into the rest of the scene, but I'm gonna keep looking, the night's not over. So this is, uh, you know, I don't think this is the best composition or gonna be the best photo in the world, but gotta shoot it. Uh, I, we have these like big boulders sitting up on top of the bedrock here, sort of my foreground element. And then the largest of these sort of sea spires that are out at Potts Point is my main subject. And then I actually have some leading lines in the clouds, which are great. Like I talked about before, uh, they're, the rocks are all sort of going north and south and the lines and the clouds are going east to west. Uh, but I think with this element, the spire, and then the clouds leading you in, I think this is gonna work. There's not too many hard horizontals in my frame. So I'm gonna get set up real quick and I'll get back to you guys.
This is me vlogging and rock climbing at the same time with very little skill at either of those things. So, ready? Yeah, made it safely. Let's go check in with Spencer one more time. All right, Spence, what did we end up shooting? Uh, we ended up shooting some rocks and some clouds. And it's a photo that I am going to edit. And we're going to see how it looks. <laughs> <laughs> super classic landscape photography. So uh, we just did our sign off and we were all super ready to go home and bag was packed and ready to go. And now, I don't know if you guys can see this and my face at the same time, but look at that light. I don't know where it's coming from. The whole horizon super closed out by like a super thick strip of clouds, but somehow the angles are lining up and we're getting some awesome glow in the clouds. So Spencer is scrambling to get his camera set up. We're gonna keep the same composition as before, I did not think those clouds, any clouds were gonna catch. I mean, it was like, I feel like we're 20 minutes past sunset, right? I mean, there's there's some glow, but we are so late on sunset. And I know I know you catch the, you know, like the, the clouds catch after the sun goes below the horizon, and, you know, and then they catch the bottom side of the cloud, but it was so late. For all you technically savvy photographers out there, uh, to give you an idea of how dark it is right now, uh, I'm shooting ISO 1600 f1.8 at a 48th of a second, at, you know, 24 frames per second. So, and it's still very dark. So, like, yeah, the, what was a five second exposure is now close to a 20 second exposure on his photos. And uh, yeah, so there was so slim of a chance that this was gonna happen and now we're gonna be walking home in the dark. Uh, luckily we're on the beach, so not a big deal, but. <laughs> I got my headlamp. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right guys, that'll wrap it up for us now. Uh, we definitely were stubborn about making sure we came home with something. I don't know if it's the best shot in the world. We won't know until we get home because it's kind of hard to tell while we're out here. But uh, basically, uh, yeah, we just really stuck with it today. And uh, we, you know, we saw a potential for light and decided a potential was all we needed. Uh, in worst case scenario, we got a good walk with the dogs and best case scenario, we got a decent photo. So let us know down below in the comments section if you think Spencer got a good photo. If you think he did a terrible job and failed completely, please let him know. Um, give us a thumbs up if you like this video. Give us a subscribe if you want to see more from us. The third week in every month, we're doing landscape vlogs and everything else will be different. So check back in third week of every month if you like landscapes only. All right, see ya.